Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So today, I am going to do something that I did last year, and that would be a New Year's episode, resolutions, etc., etc. Um, <clears throat> this is just kind of for myself. It's going to be probably pretty long, so if you really aren't interested, then maybe don't watch it. I looked back at my journal from last year and looked at what resolutions I'd made last year and saw which ones I had uh, actually accomplished or not. First one was quit chewing fingernails, which um, I did do. Uh, I just trimmed them so you can't really tell today, but they uh, <clears throat> I haven't chewed my fingernails in, well, a year now, and that is pretty freaking awesome. And I'm really proud of myself for that one because I've had that habit since I was like 8 or 9 or something. Um, my second resolution was to clear up my acne, which, yeah, still working on that one. Because the funny thing about acne is that it actually, you know, has a lot to do with what you eat and if you exercise, which were resolution 3, get back in shape and eat better, which I did not do. So, whoops. Sorry, I quit chewing my fingernails, so yay. The fourth one was to practice no more and really do good in my lessons, which... You know, I still need to practice more, but that's a never-ending process. You don't just, like, suddenly practice all the time. It's You have to slowly do it more and more, but... <clears throat> I did, I think, improve a lot this last year, so I marked that down as accomplished, because I was a lot more into my work and passionate about it and interested in actually practicing and doing a really good job. Fifth one, no, that was for, yeah, get a better job, which I did do. I got a job at a different fast food place, but this one I make probably about twice as much money in this end. I also, it's a, just a really chill job, so, and they're really flexible. They let me work whatever hours I want, kind of, um, if I need a shift off. There's always somebody looking for hours, so it's it's a very good job to have during college, and I'm very happy to have it. And I might look for a better another job this summer, but right now I'm very content and happy with my job. Unlike last year when I was I hated my job and I wanted to shoot myself every time I went to work. Um, uh, start making YouTube videos consistently. Nope, didn't do that one. <laughs> but you know life happens and stuff, so, uh, and get a new apartment and a new roommate. I did accomplish that, as you know, if you watch this channel. And everything with my new roommate is just going really great, and I love him, and it's wonderful, and I just, it's, it's great. I don't know what else to say. Be more confident and love myself. That one, I think I've, I've done really good at this year. You know, I mean, there's always room to grow with that. And I think I've reached the point of confidence, but not cockiness, and I think that's, I think it's been good. Good, yeah. Ten, stay motivated. I mean, let's just, let's just not talk about that one. No, I, I think I've, like I said, it's just like the other one, the, um, you know, practice and get better. It's, it's a work in progress. You don't just be a motivated person overnight. It doesn't happen. <clears throat> Next I want to talk about my accomplishments in the year 2014. I kind of wrote them all out here. I put them in semesters, so spring semester 2014, I was continuing to grow as an actor and started actually thinking about applying things that I was learning in acting to my singing and I just kind of was starting to delve into that higher level of performance that then. I passed my pre uter which was really, it wasn't hard, but you know, still, I guess that was an accomplishment of sorts. Uh, I went to Chicago with the Chamber Chorale and sang in the Symphony Hall there, which was an amazing experience, which I talked about earlier this year on this channel, and that was just awesome. Probably the highlight of my semester, my fall semester of 2014. And I passed all my classes, got somewhere around a 3.8, so woo! Jasmine was good at school, yeah, yeah. Um, last summer, uh, my accomplishments were moving into an apartment with new roommates and uh, figuring all that stuff out myself, all the roommate stuff, you know, being an adult and such and things. 
I found a second job and worked two jobs the entire summer, which was really tiring, but also, um, kind of, well, you know what, it was just tiring, actually. Kind of sucked, but yay, two jobs. The big thing about that, though, is that since I worked two jobs, I got to quit the job I hated. Woo! by Wendy's. This last semester, accomplishments. One thing was, uh, this isn't really an accomplishment, it doesn't take a lot of skill to, you know, buy stuff, but I did buy my beautiful iPad, woo, and I love her, and I love her so much. Her name is, uh, her name is Eva, and she's my baby, and also speaking of, like, joining the technology world, I guess, yeah, joining the technology world is an accomplishment, right? I also, it's on the ground, over there. I don't want to go grab it. I'll go. Have uh, now a smartphone. So just little Miss uh, Jasmine Apple girl. Uh, before I was using a uh, flip, flip phone type thing and a uh, Toshiba laptop. So I am moving up in the world with technology. So that's pretty cool. And then okay, so also was in my first production, a uh, UM theater and dance production, Cyrano de Bergerac, Mother Marguerite. I have told you about that, and that was. It was just honestly such a great experience. I mean, it was a really small role, and um, I still don't really feel that great about my performance, but I learned so much. Like, I mean, just the fact that I did it and I didn't feel like I'd done well enough at my performance. Just, like, me personally being able to evaluate myself and say, you could have done better. This wasn't as good as it should have been. But at the same time, just being around such... A great cast and having such a great first experience with the university was was really great it was and just like being on that stage it's just I mean I know that's where I belong I just I get out I got on there and I I remember the first day we rehearsed in the Montana theater just looking up and seeing all the the works and the the poles and the levers and how big it is back there and just to be like this is this is my home. I love it here. This is, this is where I want to live my life, on this stage, telling stories. And it's, it's so interesting because when I'm on the stage and so involved in what's going on, I don't even, like, the audience isn't there. And, like, just learning that this year, just thinking about that, it's not, the audience doesn't matter. Like, they do matter. I mean, obviously they're the ones paying for you to be able to do this, but like, you can't be preoccupied with the audience, you have to be preoccupied with what's happening on stage and who your character is, and you have to just be there. You can't be out there thinking about someone who's there, or if anyone likes you, or, oh my gosh, are they laughing? Why aren't they laughing? And I think that's like one of the biggest things I accomplished this semester, is just learning to that I really need to just be with my scene partners, with my people on stage, and just be there, alive, and, I mean, that's, that's acting, ha <laughs> ha, crazy, I'm learning stuff in school, it's awesome, um, so that was awesome, and then I also had my first role in opera theater, which was Can Can Girl, uh, named Zozo, and that was really fun, I did my first choreographed dance, I'm not very good at dancing, let's not get too ahead of ourselves, but still, a step, you know, uh, I had my first public performance with the Zootown Cabaret, and that was at the winery, and I sang with the group, and I had a duet and a solo, and I think, and that was like, felt so good about that performance. Just, I left feeling, I, like, I nailed that. And did it go perfectly? No. But it was, I was there, and it was real, and it was fun. It was fun, and like, just being able to have fun performing this semester has been just such a huge step for me. And, like, also with my uterp, which is, I think, next on here, uh, past my uterp, my under vision, uh, 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 my, um, upper division recital performance, which is something that you have to do to get into upper division classes. So I passed that, and everyone's always so nervous about it, because if you don't pass it, you can't continue in the program. And, um, I just, I just had the mindset, no, this is not a test, it's a performance. You're here to perform, this is a chance for you to get on stage and share what you love with other people. And just having this, that attitude and having that, this newly found confidence has done so much for me. And um, 
just, yeah, really feeling, I felt so good about that uterus too, just feeling good about my performances. That's been such an accomplishment for this, me this year, is just that confidence and that, like, faith in my abilities as a performer and as an actor and as a singer. I just, I don't know, it's just, it's been life-changing. Um, <laughs> and uh, so what else do we got in here? Oh, next semester I'm going to be in, in, in a Domineo, which is by Mozart, and I'm just a chorus member, but, you know, still have to audition to get into it, so yeah, it's pretty going to be pretty exciting. We're doing it all in Italian, and that's the only production I did make it into next semester, but um, that's also on here. I did, this is a big step because I auditioned for a lot of stuff last year, and the only thing I ever got called back for was Cyrano, which was my first production last year. But everything that I auditioned for this semester, which is actually only two things, I did get callbacks for those. So even though I did not get into those shows, I am getting callbacks, people are starting to know who I am, and I am giving, I still think, even though I didn't get audition, I didn't get cast, I think those were great auditions, and I left those auditions feeling like, hey, I nailed that audition. I did good. I did really good. I'm just not what they're looking for, which is fine, you know, but I... I being prepared for auditions and feeling like I did actually very well at them has been also a barely a really big accomplishment of this year for me. Um, got pretty good grades, uh, all A's, one A minus, and one B plus in German. Um, <laughs> let's see. Also, yeah, I already talked about this. Finally felt confident and good about my performances and abilities, and I experienced a lot of real moments in acting. I just my scenes this year, the like amount of internal growth that I've done in acting has just been phenomenal. And I mean, it's exciting because like, I am I a great actor? No. I'm just starting to see glimpses of this. I'm starting to see glimpses of what I can be. And that is just so exciting. And I'm so looking forward to the, the next couple of years building my resume and getting out there and putting myself out there and performing in things. And I'm just, I just, I'm so excited. And I finally feel confident, and I finally feel like, yes, I can do this. This is who I am. And so that's just freaking dandy. Yeah, one other thing I did do this semester is I'm um, going to audition for uh, Professionals Weekend this upcoming weekend, which my audition's a little shaky right now because I had a really tough Christmas break. And, um, but I, I put together my first resume, so I now have a an actual resume, which is a huge step because now I have something to give to people. Hey, hello, hire me, please, I need work. Um, so I have my, now I have my first official resume and I have uh, headshots done too. So I have headshot resume, beautiful little thing I can give to people and that's pretty awesome. Um, so goals and resolutions for 2015. Goals, yay, this is what I'm going to do. That acne, though. Get that acne under control. But, more specifically, I broke this habit, but I have not broken the habit of picking at my face and picking at my back and picking at anything on my body that I can pick at, even if it's not anything that you can... So, yeah. I pick my, I pick my skin a lot, and that's disgusting, and it leaves scars, permanent scars on your body, and it's terrible and horrible and gross and I need, need, need to stop it because it is just very self-destructive. So if I stop this one, I think I can stop this one. So that's like my big fucking goal for this semester, or this year. Um, eat healthier. Second one goes right along with that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm thinking what I'm gonna do, I've already started doing this, I'm not ordering bread, I'm only ordering unwitches at work. Um, so no more bread from work because, oh my gosh, it's so good, but carbs, carbs, honey, carbs. Um, so I'm going to eat less, try to cut out gluten as much as possible. Uh, going to try to cut out as much carbs as possible. Just eating a lot of, just trying to eat a lot more vegetables, um, chicken, and home cooking my food instead of eating at the UC at school and eating fast food all the time, which is what I did a lot last semester. I ate out fast food probably four times a week, and that's why I gained a lot of weight. So I have to stop that because I do not want to be an unhealthy fat 
person. And I know I'm not fat, I'm not saying I am, but it's just, it's just bad. And that goes right along with the acne. Obviously, eating bad does not help your skin. So I need to eat healthier, and I'm gonna really freaking try for this semester to actually, this year to actually do that. And my, my roommate also wants to eat healthier, so I think we'll kind of have each other's backs and keep each other in line. Um, going right along with that is to actually start exercising, um, and which I am taking a dance class this semester, so that should help. Uh, it's probably going to be terrifying and I'm going to be terrible at dancing, but hey, get better at dancing. That's important because I can't dance very well, and I think that that's a big reason why I didn't get into one of the shows I auditioned for this semester is because I can't dance, and they wanted dancers. So I'm like, hey, Jasmine, if you want to be in musical theater, you should probably learn how to dance. So, yeah. <clears throat> uh, try to do some kind of exercise every day. Even if it's just like 20 crunches. That helps. Anything, you know? Which, um, in order to exercise every day, I want to get a bike and I want to get a yoga mat. I know that a yeah, yoga mat doesn't seem like a big purchase and actually I probably could get it right now if I wanted to. And the bike actually shouldn't be too big of a deal. It's just tr trying to find the time to go down to the bike shop and, um, uh, it's like, it's a bike shop where you can get a free bike, you can get your bike if you do, um, if you work there so many hours. What's that called? Charity? Right? No. Not charity. Volunteer work. Volunteer work. That's the one. So finding the time for that. So I want to get a bike and a yoga mat so I can exercise at my home and I can ride my bike to places and it'll be awesome. Try to make some kind of consistent videos on YouTube. I, I always feel really good about making a video and I like to look back on them and I, realized I didn't really make that many this year and I kind of wish I had made some at different moments in my life when I felt moments that I felt were important so I want to try to make sure I capture those moments and don't forget to make like videos every now and then sorry I realized I was out of center um, uh, stay motivated and work on your project I had this idea I have this really cool idea for a project but I'm not gonna really say anything about it because it's still very, very, very baby, baby idea mode over here. The little baby idea mode. So I want to try to work on that and it's, it's kind of like a big, I want to make a big collaboration type story. It's like a senior project, which, so it's, that's a couple years down the road, but to actually keep working on it, don't let it go to the gutters. You can do it. You're smart. You are talented. You can. You can make that happen. So that's another one. Um, audition for every show I can. Um, obviously, if I have a conflict with the audition, or I can't be in the show, but no, 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 no. Even if I can't be in the show, audition even if I can't, because audition experience is so valuable, and I learned that this semester, because now I'm actually, like, not scared to audition. I'm excited to audition. So I have two auditions coming up this week in Professionals Weekend, which is opportunities for summer theater, some paid, some not. And then also auditions for The Rainmaker, which is MCT's next production. I auditioned for Clue uh, a couple months back, didn't get into it. No big deal. But I'm going to audition for Rainmaker, and I actually could do that one with, Indo with Indomineo. Um, it doesn't conflict with my rehearsal schedule for opera, so hopefully, fingers crossed for that one. But yes, audition for everything. Even if you can't be in the show, even if you don't want to be in the show, just audition! Freaking audition experience is so valuable, so I need to remember, audition for everything. And, yeah, so that's one. Uh, one of my goals, going on the audition line, one of my goals is to get a lead or a supporting role. Right, so far all I've gotten is like chorus, I got a small part in Cyrano, so my goal for this year is to get a lead or supporting role in some kind of production. Somewhere, somehow, some way, even if it's my own. But, um... Also, apply myself in all my classes, especially German, because I know I could have gotten an A in that class if I had to actually study, but um, I was being lazy, so I want to do good in that class this semester. Um, be a better roommate, and I think I'm a pretty decent roommate. Like I said, me and my roommate, we get along very well, but I know that sometimes some things I do bother him, so I want to try to clean up after myself and keep the place clean, pitch in with uh, housework, pitch in with dishes especially, so trying to keep the place clean a lot more, I want to do that, and I also want to, um, what was the other thing? Oh, 
um, not throw big parties because I know Sam doesn't really like them. So um, I want to make sure communication is always key and that if I want to throw a party, I make sure he knows who's coming, that he's okay with it, and like everything's fine because I don't want to, I don't want to um, make anything like any tension. And I think we're really great roommates, so I don't think it's going to be really a problem, but just always a goal to be a better roommate and just, I, we're really good at communication, so I'm, that's just like kind of on there, mostly about cleanliness. I need to make sure I keep things clean. Um, I need want to put together audition books. I want to put together a book of monologues categorized that I can use for auditions and a book of songs that I can use for auditions because every time I audition I have to like search for one and then I'm like oh well, I have this but I already did this for that so I want to research and find good monologues and find good songs so I can always have some I can always have at least a couple choices from each category ready at all times so that auditioning is a fucking piece of cake so that's another goal um, another goal is to actually play my French horn <laughs> I did not play my French horn much at all last semester because I was so busy with everything else and I wasn't an ensemble so I didn't have a reason to play but I do not want to lose that skill I think that being able to play an instrument is a very important skill for a singer and actor you know it's not necessarily always the most applicable thing but you never know when somebody's gonna want a performer who can also play an instrument you know actor musician stuff is pretty popular uh, so and so I think I need to at least try to pick it up every week, kind of play through some scales, play through whatever, pick out a couple solos, just play through them and just have some fun with it. It's not, there's no stress on it, there's no pressure anymore, so just have some fun and don't lose the mouth muscles that make that work. Um, and then to write in the journal because my roommate got me a journal for Christmas and I realized, well let's see here. Uh, there's the 2014 entry, and there's one very angry video, uh, angry uh, journal entry, and one really lame one, and oh wait, yeah, I wrote in the journal twice this year, so I want to write in my journal more because I don't want to forget moments. I mean, I know I'm not going to really forget them soon, but it's so awesome to be able to look back and read what you were thinking and remember what happened in your life and... I just really don't want to, and you know, it's, it's, if I have children someday, it's valuable, you know, they can look back, they can see what kind of a person I was, and things they might never know otherwise, so, journaling, I want to do it, I want to do it up, so yeah, that's my, um, 2015 video, let's go take the world, buy some things, and yeah, slap it and then uh, maybe like throw some things at it and yeah. So, um, yeah, wish me good luck on my two auditions this weekend. I will try to let you know. Actually, you know, if I get something, I'm going to let you know because I'm going to be ecstatic and I will need to be sharing that with somebody. <laughs> so anyways, I will talk to you later and I love you. Goodbye!